So our big thing is like, and we appreciate uh, MidPen because they brought together HKit, PGA Design, Nibby, and it integrated the art into the building rather than having it be the afterthought afterwards. And so Polo lost a lot of hair um, trying to project manage and go above and beyond what the requirements were. We were approached by MidPen because Civic Design Studio works with a lot of the big OUSD high schools and now Laney College, UC Berkeley. And we have a wide range of community partners that we do in our projects. Uh, we were invited by MidPen to try and figure out how to do that in, in a new development in a very integrated way. We really felt like MidPen was approaching it not as an afterthought, but art as an active process of engaging the community. We feel so fortunate to work with Tommy Wong and Civic Design Studio uh, on the art here at Paseo and Vista Estero. The, to have vibrant art in, in our affordable housing developments, which is something we always strive to do, is a really essential part of um, communicating respect and pride uh, and liveliness and engagement with our resident community. When we're, when we're designing these buildings, we're not just thinking about a home, but we're trying to think about how to build community. And so when you have engaging art uh, in the public spaces in the building, it helps draw people together. Maybe it's a conversation piece. When you have high quality art like this, I think it sends a message of respect and pride around, around the community that you live in. Um, and then the, you know what's so special about their approach is the depth of the engagement, right? So you can you know, see these sort of lively themes that, that the, the kids in the high school and others are bringing to it but then they're working with professional artists. And so you get these creative, uh, youthful ideas uh, and expressions, but then interacted with really high quality production and artistic methods. And so it's really incredible. We worked with dozens of students to produce this and then hundreds this year got to get exposure to it on Zoom and all kinds of things. And so across the the five OUSD schools, the teachers integrate this into their and this curriculum. Is how Asian cultures came to America? Okay. Yeah, so, the, well, that's the Ohlone canoe. This is a Vietnamese fishing boat, and then that's the Chinese junk boat. So, we just wanted to honor and connect the flats to here and make sure that folks in the flats feel like they're a part of this community and then feel like that beautiful pier over there is part of their neighborhood as well. Part of this uh, kinetic sculpture is when the wind blows, the whole thing moves. And so through the CTE pathways of engineering, architecture, art and design, we think we have the beginnings of what we're going to, what we're calling creative, new creative industry in Oakland. And it's, and it's centered around the young folks learning these 2D and 3D softwares to activate these things. Students um, did this artwork? Uh, they worked with uh, the architecture teacher, Fong Hong, who himself is an artist. And so you'll see uh, 45 plus pieces of artwork throughout every lobby in both buildings. What you can see, over 50 pieces of artwork on the insides, two kinetic art pieces and two floor designs on the exteriors. That's the result of what happens from top to bottom when community is involved. So as much as possible, if community input, community say happens in these developments, you get to see what the community can bring and its cultural richness like no other city. So I actually know Tommy personally from a childcare collective that we were both part of. He approached me about a new project that he wanted to do. I said, yeah, let, let's see your, your PowerPoint presentation you put together. And I shared it with 
Lily, Lou Haler, and with Polo, and they were really excited about it and bringing it to Brooklyn Basin. We started actually a couple months before the pandemic hit, and we were working in schools, and it was fairly easy <laughs> because everyone was together and they could do these large size pieces of artwork. It came apart and we had to figure out how to make it work and still achieve the number of art pieces that we wanted at the scale we wanted. And so my van became a transportation truck for the summer. Uh, we were visiting students at their homes, bringing oversized panels and art supplies to them. Uh, we were meeting their parents, which was one of those silver linings we couldn't have predicted. And so the parents or family members knew of what their siblings or their daughters or sons were doing in school because we forced them to <laughs> bring these oversized panels of artwork and then Zoom with us. It was really great because all these students were getting together and teachers at the same time getting together over the summer on Zoom to share ideas, share progress, and really work together to get all this artwork done. So I was gonna have like a big Oakland, like oak tree over here. And then at the bottom, I was gonna draw out the people who do Tai Chi in the park that's near Madison Park. And then on the right-hand side is a bowl of noodles, is that right? Yeah, um, nice. I just was thinking of all the like food that's around that area and it's a lot of um noodle places awesome awesome that's beautiful uh raise your hand if you have some feedback all right Layla. um i thought it was really cool um I, there's this artist that i'm really into i forget her name but like her whole thing is like like it's very random but like organized at the same time and i think your piece is kind of the same way it all comes together i really like how much detail you put in and the different elements you had. I think residents will see a piece of them in one of the different elements that really gravitates just because there's, there's a lot of different messaging. So one of the great things about this being an integrated approach is that, is that it, it was curriculum for these teachers and students. And so uh, we started it off by really setting an example of the way the themes could go. And what we did is we said, well, this is a place of a lot of history. The way that this art was created by Oakland's young people, the way that it brings stories in from this community, from our cultures, from our young people, connects the past with the future. The fact that these beautiful art pieces were fabricated in our city's public high schools just makes my heart explode with joy and pride. What I wanted to do is connect like Oakland past and present with like the more modern things of Oakland and still connect back to that Ohlone Native American tribe that once inhabited Oakland. I really wanted to get that sense of like nature and still connect them to Oakland. When I joined the piece, the favorite time is to talk about Black Lives Matter. So I joined the Black Panther and uh, tried to compare the people and Black Panther them together. And so I kind of wanted to honor both the Black Panther movement as well as, you know, um, the early Black residents of Oakland. As an instructor, I am definitely incredibly proud and like, so impressed by them. I mean, I'm impressed by them every day, but just seeing their work here, um, I'm just like so overjoyed. Uh, Maria Sanchez. Maria Sanchez in the middle. It is. So these are the godmothers of Oakland. Yeah. Um, so uh, this was done by Oakland High, and this was done by Castlemont and Laney over here. So the curriculum was about Oakland heroes. So who are some heroes from every neighborhood or every culture? And so they picked uh, Miss Tarika, Maria Sanchez, and Kathy Jin. So it started off with taking portraits of these three women and we brought them into our studio and we created lighting schemes for how we were gonna light them and stuff like that. Um, um, and then what ended up happening was we also interviewed them and trying to kind of figure out a little bit about what Oakland means to them um, and how they see Oakland. And, um, and through their eyes, what we tried to do was we tried to use their portraits then and then collage um, around them with some of the elements that they talked about. Um, in their interview about Oakland. 
So this piece was done by an Oakland Tech Fashion Academy student named Kiana Reno, and it was finished by one of Civic Design Studio's uh, main assistants that helps us with a lot of the art installations we do throughout the city. Um, his name is Han Nguyen, and uh, he himself was formerly unhoused chronically for 10 years um, and lived in this area where Brooklyn Basin was. So this was very much a meaningful project for him to come full circle and create this idea of like homes for all. I have friends that live under the bridge. I have friends that live on the sidewalks. Myself, I was living in an RV, but I also started where they were from. A lot of the art that I see, it, it touched me because it's from kids that are struggling like me when I was younger. I hope everyone looks at this project and not just the product of this beautiful art, but the process that empowered young people and lifted up not just their talent, but their stories that lifted up their wisdom and brilliance to take what they had learned through curriculum and make that a beautiful art piece for generations and generations to enjoy and learn from. So affordable housing is one of the pillars of our work. Um, just understanding what a crisis situation we are in right now, um, down to the folks that we work with, like Han, um, who are really members and leaders in their in unhoused communities. Um, and so the issue of affordable housing is one that we always build curriculum and projects towards and partnerships with places like Midpen uh, have been invaluable. And, and so it allowed us to introduce Midpen staff to the teachers and students. It allowed them to discuss affordable housing before we ever got any kind of artwork started. So it was absolutely essential to the artwork. Well, you know, our residents are incredible people. They go through a lot to, to work their way through the system, to pick up and move their families, and they, they all have this energy and vision of a better life. So when they move in, they get the benefit of living in a beautiful, high-quality development. When it's surrounded by beautiful, lively, engaging art, I think it just adds that much more energy to the residents. And our vision of residents is to empower them. And when they're empowered, then they're engaged. And I think, again, the, the means, the methods of the production of this art, the effect of the art in our community uh, is consistent with that, that objective. Hello, everyone. My name is Tommy Wong with Civic Design Studio. Civic Design Studio works with Oakland Unified School District, Peralta School System, universities, and a cross-sector range of partners to really ad address and support the efforts in Oakland that need it the most. We wanted to thank the Oak to Ninth Coalition as this unfolded. Nikki, as well, has been a big part of that. Um, we wanted to thank uh, APEN, IBASI, OCO, Oakland Housing Authority, Patricia, the mayor. We also really want to thank Midpen Housing for go going above and beyond in the project to work with us and be patient with us through the pandemic. It's partnerships with HKIT, PGA Design, Nibby Construction. We really made integrated art uh, that we hope elevates the idea of community art in Oakland. At Midpen, any community that we develop, we want to have beautiful art. This collaboration with Tommy and his team allows us to go much deeper than that. So we also really aspire to partner, not just with our apartment communities, but with the broader community where they're located. So when we can work with a local artist, in this case, a local artist who's bringing so many other members of the community, high school students, local, other local artists, to the, the exercise of creating our community, then it's a, you know, a double or triple benefit for Midpen because we're fulfilling our vision of really engaging deeply in the broader communities that we work in. We were honored to work on this because affordable housing is desperately needed in Oakland. Not just new housing, but the preservation and upgrading of existing housing so that this cultural richness, what you see produced in the artwork, can remain a vital part of this incredible city. So I really hope the residents here at Midpen understand the backstory of what it took to do this and how integrated it is into the neighborhoods that they are neighboring. And I hope they feel proud and I just hope they enjoy it every day.